boys and girls. Today is a different video. I want to talk to you a bit about something that I'm very passionate about. Something, if you follow this channel, you already know. I want to talk to you about access. Because there is a, there is a saying. Um, what is the best camp axe? What is the best bushcraft axe? What is the best? Beginning in axis, a new in axis, I thought it was this. This is my TT Tobias Tillin Grand's First Brooks Small Forest Axe. She is almost four years old and she has been with me in everything I have done in the woods. She has done everything I asked. She has taken a few nicks and a few beating, but she is beautiful. And my hands just knows where to go. Uh, never dropped this, never got hurt with this. I've, I have made uh, 10 steaks uh, and 10 poles. I have made tripods, cooking tripods, shelters, uh, split firewood on the beach, everything with this. I even baton through a massive spruce tree two years ago up in the northern part of my country. We came to a campsite and a massive tree had come down, so we figured let's cut let's cut the wood and and have it for uh, for firewood for the entire evening because we didn't have to go search for anything. It was right in front of us, so one and a half hours of work, but with uh, with a small forest axe and the Hulta Force hatchet. We had to use them as uh, wedges and, and baton them, but it worked perfectly. We made a huge pile of firewood, kept warm the entire evening. This, I can't say anything wrong with this. There's always a saying, the right axe is the one that you carry in your backpack. Uh, and for Many stories I would agree. Should you want to try something else than this, uh, then I am fortunate enough uh, two and a half years ago, two, one year ago, almost two years ago, I placed an order uh, with Liam Huffman for a three pound, 24 inch. Hickory Campax. <laughs> uh, th this gets me every time. Um, there are many people. Um, on social media, uh, purchasing access from Liam Hoffman and uh, re reselling them when when they get them. And to me, uh, I, I I am pretty sure they make a few bucks or maybe more. But but to me, this has been with me almost as much as this. Um, but this has done everything and more that I asked of it. Uh, I think it's a it's a three pound head, so in Danish terms, one point one point four four kilos, um, and a twenty four inch hickory haft haft. Um, uh, and the fit, fitmanship and the feel of this. Uh, is something else. 
I went to uh, one of my new friends in the world of axes called Jens uh, to put together a double bed Collins axe and uh, Jens is is very skilled with an axe but before I, I went he asked me <laughs> if I could bring this <laughs> um, I do believe I'm not, I'm not sure but I do believe that this is the only one in Denmark. Uh, almost six million people, I think, and I believe I have the only one. I'm not sure. I am not sure. It has a price tag. That it does. Um, but for the hours, the work, the quality, the build, the mindset of putting together this tool worth it, absolutely worth it. Uh, I once owned, back in the days where I didn't go here, I once owned a t-shirt in cotton costing me 75% as this. So I, I can justify having a tool like this for the rest of my life. And I, I spoke to Liam actually. Uh, telling him what I was, who I was, what I was doing and made sure that if something ever should happen to this that I have a replacement uh, axe handle in my basement and I do. Uh, it's not, not all, it's not just as thin as this one uh, but almost. So if, if something should happen this can be fixed, but <laughs> as you probably saw of me doing firewood, uh, I brought something else. <laughs> uh, I, I brought something else. This is a production axe. This is also a production axe, but only sold one place in the whole world. You can buy this in Finland, Denmark, in Canada, uh, in Germany. I would even say you could pick one up in Australia if you find the right dealer. Sold all over the world, almost sold one place but still a production axe. So how do you beat these two? And for the record I'm going to say beat as in I haven't done all the work, I haven't had three, three or four years of experience one and a half years of experience in camping in all weather types but my first hand impression and using it today holding it I'm not gonna say it's going to beat the Hoffman but competition is very very steep um, it's very steep but it might. If you can see this when the smoke clears, this is for my if my history is correct and the maker of this is correct uh, but we can't know we, we weren't born at that time this is a pre 1930 uh, true temper Kelly Rockaway on a 25 inch white oak beautifully absolutely beautifully curved white oak handle. This axe 
if you can see, it's made by one man. Not a production axe. Not something you can go pick up in a hardware store. But I believe in this configuration, the only one in the world. I'm going out on a limb and saying the only one in the world. Um, it, the axe head says, Kelly Axe and Tool Company, Charleston uh, W, Charleston W V A USA America. With a balance point just right behind the head. If I move my finger an inch, it tips. If I move it all the way into the to the to the swell, but if I put it right behind the head, that's where it is. Almost. But this uh this is a head heavy axe. Um, and I'm going to move away just for a second. So, this is it, the Kelly Rockaway, made by my friend Cole Faller. Cole is on Instagram, uh, if you can see this, Cole is on Instagram and his, uh, his page is called uh, Midwest Edge Works. Um, and I will link his his Instagram in the description if you want to see what the gentleman is doing with axes. But I had an experience with this, and the head is a bit more suited for splitting wood. The head weight is a bit more heavy than the Hoffman, and the edge on this is absolutely lethal absolutely it's like a razor blade I took my my big Kelly uh, the wood slasher I cut down a tree I split firewood I took it camping here in winter time in minus 15 degrees I split frozen firewood and it still slices paper like a new kitchen knife this is something else. But what I experienced was this. This is the Hoffman axe. And look what happens when I do this. It's just, it's just a bit more, just a bit, bit more handle, bit more weight. Uh, the axe head geometry with the Hoffman over here and the Kelly over here is almost identical. The cutting edge on the Hoffman is shorter and made with, with a different grind, but that axe is something else. We didn't plan this. We didn't plan it at all.
it's amazing absolutely amazing but I'm not going to tell you what the best camp, ac camp axe is because like I said before the axe you carry in your backpack is probably it <laughs> but man Thanks, Cole. Thank you very, very much. I know we speak back and forth on Instagram, but should you watch this and see the ugly Corona mug filled with beard, I hope you see happiness because what an axe is to me is something to help me keep me coming here and keep me in the nature and keep me happy so thanks brother and on a more non-sentimental note I think my coffee is ready so I'm going to kick back put on an extra shirt and have my coffee and if you have an axe, if you like it, uh, and if you think that that's the best for you, I would like to hear. Leave me a note in the comments, um, otherwise just take care of yourselves and enjoy whatever beautiful place you get to use one of these tools. Take care boys and girls.